to sit on one side, a white people to sit on the other side. And then when you look at our ad, we just mixed everybody. It was a message of unity that took some courage to put up there. Coca-Cola really needed to stay relevant. They needed to connect with the youth. And I think using this ad was one way of doing that, of showing that they are a progressive company. Even more importantly, Dr. Martin Luther King was a native of Atlanta, which is, of course, Coca-Cola's hometown. When Dr. Martin Luther King was given the Nobel Peace Prize in 1964, there was going to be a mixed dinner held in Atlanta in his honor. It was going to be the first time that you actually had African Americans and whites come together as a dinner. And so there were a lot of people who had prejudices and they didn't want to come and do that. The chairman of Coca-Cola said, we've got to do this. It will be embarrassing to our city uh, if we don't do that. And he pointed out, you know, rather threateningly actually, that we are a global company. We don't need Atlanta. You better think about whether you need Coca-Cola. Soon after, the tickets all sold out and the dinner was a success. Yes. So let's take this out. We'll find a letter for you. We actually have a letter in the archives of Martin Luther King thanking Coca-Cola for bringing the business leaders together and hosting the dinner. I must confess.